Located in Santee, California, the Ray Stoyer Water Recycling Facility treats two million gallons of wastewater every day. The result? One million gallons of recycled water is pumped into Santee Lakes to offset evaporation, while the other one million gallons is distributed through 32 miles of recycled water mains into the community to irrigate schools, parks, streetscapes, and other common areas. Welcome to Padre Dam's Ray Stoyer Water Recycling Facility. Padre Dam is a public agency dedicated to providing high quality drinking water, recycled water, wastewater services, and recreation at Santee Lakes Recreation Preserve to over 100,000 people in San Diego's East County. We're here today to share with you the benefits and opportunities recycled water offers our community. Water recycling involves cleaning and disinfecting wastewater so that it can be safely used for purposes other than drinking. The process of turning wastewater into recycled water reduces the amount of imported water needed from the Colorado River and Sacramento Bay Delta and significantly reduces wastewater discharge into the ocean. Located just southwest of the water recycling facility is a series of seven lakes. This is known as Santee Lakes Recreation Preserve. The lakes opened in 1961 and provides over 190 acres of public recreation. Here, over 750,000 visitors per year enjoy activities like fishing, boating, camping, walking and running, picnicking, and special events. Santee Lakes is a model for other communities, demonstrating how to turn recycled water into tax-free parks and recreation. Here's where the water enters, the beginning of the treatment plant. This is a physical screening of any large particles that are still in the water column. It physically separates them um, to protect the pumps and the equipment throughout the treatment plant. After the water goes to the physical screening here, the water enters the primary sedimentation basins. The heavy settable solids will settle to the bottom. The lighter um, stuff will flow to the top where the top and the bottom is both removed either by pumps or manually by uh, plant staff as we currently have here right now. After the water leaves the primary sedimentation tanks, it flows here into the BNR, biological nutrient removal. What we're doing here biologically is uh, removing the ammonia and the phosphorus from the water column. After water leaves the BNR, it flows into these two basins right here, our secondary sedimentation basins. A portion of what settles to the bottom of these tanks is returned to the beginning of the BNR. We need to keep a constant supply of fresh and healthy microorganisms in the biological system. The other portion of what settles to the bottom is sent out as sludge waste. So here is the beginning of the tertiary process, our flocculation and sedimentation basins. What we do in these two basins here is add a chemical aluminum sulfate, which is a coagulant. So any fine particles that are still in the water column, they attract together, they get heavy, they settle to the bottom where they're easily removed. After the water leaves the flocculation and sedimentation basin, it enters into these four tanks here, our denitrification filters. Any remaining nitrate that is still in the water column is biologically removed through these filters. Here the last process is chlorine disinfection. We add 100% chlorine gas to this basin here. It stays in contact for at least 90 minutes to ensure adequate disinfection. When the water leaves here, it is fully Title 22 compliant water. Once the water leaves the treatment plant, it is approved for full body contact recreation and accidental ingestion. Through an extensive and thorough process, Padre Dam is able to produce an exceptionally high quality source of recycled water for non-potable irrigation and public recreational uses. And because the recycled water supply is generated locally, it's much more reliable than imported water and delivered at a lower cost to customers.